students until now in the topic nuclear chemistry and radioactivity we have considered about what is the radioactivity what is the expression for decay constant and what is half life period now in this video we shall consider about the graphical representation of decay how the rate of decay depends upon time or how it varies with respect to time we shall consider you know that the expression for decay constant that is lambda is equal to 2.303 upon t log of n0 upon n we have considered this expression we have derived this expression lambda that is decay constant or it is also called as disintegration constant is equal to 2.303 upon t into log of n0 upon n what is t t is the time required to decay the quantity from n0 to n n0 is the initial quantity of radioactive element or you can say number of radioactive atoms which are present initially and n is the number of radioactive atoms remaining after time t or at time t or quantity of radioactive element remaining at time t now if you rearrange this equation we can have log of n0 upon n like this log of n0 upon n to this side you can obtain lambda into t upon 2.303 here log of n0 upon n remaining on this side you can take t on this side and upon 2.303 now log of n0 upon n is equal to log of n0 minus log of n log of n0 minus log of n is equal to lambda into t upon 2.303 take log of n on this side so you will have minus lambda t upon 2.303 log of n to this side and so this value we have to take on this side that is equal to minus lambda into t upon 2.303 plus log of n0 remaining as it is so we have rearranged this equation that is log of n is equal to minus lambda into t upon 2.303 plus log of n0 now log of n i will write this equation in different terms that is minus lambda upon 2.303 into t plus log of n0 what i have done only this t i have taken separate itha hat t kay kela mi fakt bajula ghetla log of n is equal to minus lambda upon 2.303 plus log of n0 ata ya equation la cha apan y is equal to mx plus c ya form madhe basu shakto this is equation of straight line y is equal to mx plus c where y is log of n on y axis we have to take log of n on x axis we have to take t on x axis we have to take t that is time required now what is m m is the slope of this line you can obtain the graph as straight line graph and c is intercept of this line so if we plot the graph atha jar apan ha graph plot kela y axis var apan kay ghenar aahot log of n what is n n is the quantity remaining after time t ani x axis var aplyala ghyaycha hai time which is denoted by t so if you plot this graph samja ya values apan time t ani n cha values ghetla tacha log ghetla tar aplyala ha graph ya paddhatine milel it is it will be the straight line so here y is equal to mx plus c सद्या वाय मे का अपन लॉग ऑफ एन एंड वॉट इज एक्स एक्स इज टी एंड सो एम सो स्लोप ऑफ धीस लाइन या लाइन का जर आप स्लोप घर तो स्लोप का इट इज इक्वल टू मैनस लैमडा अपॉन टू पॉइंट थ्री नॉट थ्री सो फ्रॉम धीस स्लोप 
you can calculate the value of lambda also but remember here n is the quantity remaining after time t and according to law of decay you know that rate of decay is directly proportional to n that is number of radioactive element number of radioactive atoms rate of decay is denoted by minus dn upon dt and so you can say that rate of decay is directly proportional to n or n is directly proportional to rate of decay which is denoted by minus dn upon dt and this minus dn upon dt or rate of decay is also called as activity it is called as activity so if we plot log of activity against t then you can obtain this graph and the value of slope will be positive so remember here instead of taking log of n you can take log of activity and what is activity it is rate of decay that is minus dn by dt and as this value is negative you can obtain the slope positive which is equal to lambda upon 2.303 and from this value samjha ya line cha slope aplyala milala tar ya slope varun apan calculate karu shakto lambda chi value and what is intercept on y axis it is equal to c so it is log of n0 manje hi value tumhala kay milel itha ya ratio var milnar ahe to value of log of n0 this is the first graph in the graphical representation of dk first we have to plot a graph of log of n against t now if you plot rate of decay against time samjha apan ata dusra graph plot kela tar ya graph cha nature kay asu shakel you know that rate of decay is directly proportional to number of radioactive atoms so as time increases the number of radioactive atoms goes on decreasing jase sa to element decay hot jail je time increase hot jail tas tasa number of radioactive atoms decay hot janar and so when we plot a graph of rate of decay or you can say rate of activity it is also called as activity rate of decay against time then this graph will be obtained like this it will be curve as time increases rate of decay goes on decreasing initially when time is zero can say rate of decay is maximum jevha time zero asnar hai tevha rate of decay maximum asnar hai karan ka tithe number of radioactive atoms jast asnar hai jas jasa vel vadat jail tas tasa kay jala number of radioactive atoms goes on decreasing रेडिओएक्टिव ॲटमची संख्या कमी होत जाणार याचा अर्थ त्यांचं कन्व्हर्जन स्टेबल ॲटममध्ये होत जाणार म्हणजेच रेडिओएक्टिव ॲटमची संख्या कमी झाली आणि रेट ऑफ डीके हा कुठल्याही क्षणाला कशावर अवलंबून असतो तर नंबर ऑफ रेडिओएक्टिव ॲटम्सवर अवलंबून असतो आणि म्हणून जसा वेळ वाढत जाईल म्हणजे टाईम इन्क्रीज होत जाईल तसा रेट ऑफ डीके हा डिक्रीज होत जाणार आणि म्हणून आपल्याला या ग्राफचं नेचर या पद्धतीनं मिळेल ॲज टाईम इन्क्रीजेस द रेट ऑफ डीके गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग rate of decay depends upon number of radioactive atoms and so as time increases the number of radioactive atoms goes on decreasing and so rate of decay goes on decreasing like this from these two graphs we can explain how decay takes place or how rate of decay depends upon time and how rate of decay decreases or how can you, how you can obtain the value of lambda or decay constant from the slope of the line